what is up you guys and welcome of course to another video from yours truly the scarander and before going into this episode i really want to just sh share with you guys that this is not a leak content video or anything like that uh, i got a lot of hate uh, at that video that i made before and a lot of laughter which was the purpose of that video and this is not a hate video on the people that are leaking but more my thoughts about it and why that video with the leak was made in the first place and um, so without further ado having that said let's actually get into the video itself All right, we got an intro through. Um, <laughs> so anyway, guys, I really just want to share my own two thoughts about the content that has been spreading around throughout PocketTubers. And like I said, this is no way for me of actually hating on those specific people. Why I think it's quite shameless to share content that has been provided as real or fake yet, or obviously are most likely fake. Um, the reason it bothers me is because they treat it as a possible leak as a possible leak every day and uh, they're always something on 4chan and i think most people know that 4chan is not a reliable source ever <laughs> like ever ever yes there has been some content there that has been eventually proven to be real but there are far too few in contrast to what has been fake and with that said yeah just wow um i will also say this before actually going more in depth to why this is a big deal uh to every person who makes videos there are speculation about moon and sun or be in a top 10 about the hopes about the moon and sun. Um, you guys rock. Like I, I like that. Like top 10 hopes of possible megas. Because those, are, those videos are real. They are hopes. They are like some real speculations that uh, one could get behind. You know, share thoughts. I think it's a very, very big deal to actually be able to share those kind of thoughts. When, let's face it, the rest is not really that thoughtful behind. And... Um, the reason I'm saying that is because the rest is just spreading false rumors about Pokemon that are not real. We're actually promoting things that aren't real about the Moon and Sun. The issue with that is that when Core Core eventually will leak, to, or not leak, yeah, yeah, they, they possibly leaked, but they are confirmed leaks, you get it? Um, when they leak the possible starters next month on Core Core, or maybe if they get showcased on E3, um, that will be a real showcase. I think you guys understand what I'm getting at. But when the people search for that, you know what they will find? This fan art. Yeah. I mean, I just searched for Pokemon Sun and Moon leak. And this was one of the first pictures shown up. That's going to be the case for a lot of the mods. That from the get-go, yes, they will disappear. But as of right now, we are, as the community, I I'm going to spread, I'm going to push everybody at the same <laughs> same boat even though i know there are not too many spreading this kind of fake leaks or fake pokemons but honestly the ones they do this is what you guys create you create a substance of not speculation you're spreading false rumors and you spread it as news and you try to debate the the legitimacy of them like they look real they should be real but as you see on this thumbnail don't believe these fakes this is one of the videos that was actually showcasing that this was fan art. And it was fan art from three years ago. Freaking three years ago. Back in X and Y. And that is so frustrating that you could reuse old assets as legitimate news again. But on the pictures that I have in front of us now, we are actually having some minor evolution of Lodicolo. Looks like it at least. Uh, we have um, the new... Uh, Pokemon that was showcased or possibly showcased on the um, what do you say on the preview of the game when introduced it now that's a thing though that is a possible confirmation of a new Pokemon I could get behind that I could probably say that that is a possible leak and this is a possible fan art of it and then we have the Dolphin Pokemon that people have been talking about when it come with the possible leak of new typings and this is just blows my mind that this was also, of course, a thumbnail related very early to the, the whole SM uh, leak. 
And it is for the same reason. This is one of the first pictures that comes up. It just doesn't hold a candle. It blows my mind that this is something that still is going on. And like I said, we're proving nothing with this kind of content. And I think the next picture is probably the worst one. And that is actually the free starters was introduced last week. And uh, yeah, it just is so bad. Because this picture actually was spreading like wildfire. And mostly due to the Koro Koro was going to have their leak pretty much just during those same days. Uh, which was fine, and the Koro Koro leak was obviously that Volcanion had a date. Incredible, right? Nothing about Moon and Sun, for obvious reasons. Uh, they probably didn't have that <laughs> print even uh, as that thing was gonna get revealed, but obviously we still are in concept art. Uh, that's what they're showing. So why would they leak the finished product already on Koro Koro when we already seen concept art is what is used? right now they are not getting that far they have haven't gotten that far as far as we know of course but of course the fire bear which was a thing in generation 2 in um, i do believe the alpha state of uh, gold and silver got reduced splendid and you know the fan art there about the skido yeah that's actually true uh, people got showcased about Skiddo and that fan art right there was used as a previous evolution for Skiddo before it got to Gogo. People are speculating, of course, about a three-stage evolution with Skiddo in mind. Think about that for a while. I mean, it did bother me because I was think I was actually getting kind of catched ahead because it did took me a few hours before I realized that shit, this is old concept art all over again. Um, it just blew my mind. Now the I will say that uh, I think the um, reptile was kind of nice, uh, but obviously it's it was confirmed within the first three hours of this possible leak that the Japanese used to uh, spread these rumors were not used in a right way. First of all, which is let's just say that that recognition come because they didn't spread through a Japanese site. It came from 4chan. Again, 4chan is not to be trusted, nor should it be. And it just spread like wildfire anyway, because people want to believe this is true. And when it is unconfirmed, it's very bad for other bigger pocket tubers to spread this as news. Because they make this thing even realer, which just kills the hype. It really, really kills the hype of the games. I don't mind speculation, but bear in mind that spreading this like a, a real leak and news is bad. And the last picture I'll show you is, of course, about the possible legendary of the Sun game. <sighs> and I will say this. It looks, to some extent, convincing, yes. But, <sighs> I mean, what is this? It is a background here, final, sure. Uh, the Pokemon itself is a female, and it is against the trainer battle. Uh, as you see, a Pokeball entry there, and we see a possible level which is question mark, question mark. For me, this is not concept. Um, I hardly believe it is. And it is unconfirmed and should be unconfirmed because this is also a 4chan post. Um, we will see a lot of these things. And the design looks too similar to what is used in X and Y. And they are not, they're not using the same assets there. They will definitely reevaluate the system itself. Had they not reevaluated the system itself, they would have shown uh, gameplay at the trailer, which they didn't for a reason. Um, they have a different system in mind. They won't use X and Y engine. There, there is no reason for them to do that. So the, the HP bar, everything like that, will not look the same. There would be no reason for them to introduce that system if this wasn't the planning phase. It wouldn't make sense for them since they're doing everything from the plan up. So yeah, this is most likely a fake too. Or it's, it is a fake. I couldn't. Like... As long as it's unconfirmed, it's a fake, and I don't like it. Like I said, spreading this thing like news. It's not news. We're spreading toxic. We are making sure that when the games come out, the only thing people will find in the search engine are fake leaks from fake pocket tubers. No, you're not guys, not fake, but you're spreading fake. And the reason it becomes a big deal is because it makes sure that real content about the real game will suffer um, the people that are are 
bring in the real content once things hit off is gonna be uh, challenging this guys for the views and the reason the thing that is an issue is because people that are searching for these kind of videos with the real content are not gonna be found because they're rivaled by these fake leaks and we don't know how well this or how long this is gonna be i remember it wasn't this bad in x and y um, it was a lot of leak there too, but I didn't care for them. But now I feel that we have come so far to know that these leaks are always fake for the time being until something is, con is confirmed. And as long as this keeps going, we're going to accept this, this kind of content which is not real content. And it, it's not related to the Pokemon itself. It just are lies to get more views. And yes, I get it. Like I said, I did a fake leak myself just to prove my point. I just really want to showcase um, how that worked. I got a lot of likes. People laughed about it mostly. Uh, but also got a lot of dislikes, which it should get. Big leaks that are fake should get a lot of dislikes. You shouldn't be promoted. That's the point of the video I made. I got a lot of views, like I said. And the purpose was to actually... <laughs> show show for myself that it requires almost nothing to be successful this kind of content because people want to believe and I really don't want anybody to believe in fake content or fake leaks but it becomes fake content because the content becomes irrelevant when it's proven fake and it's just a time waster about speculation about nothing and that is not how it should be treated so please everybody who's making pokemon videos about these leaks <sighs> I, I, I want to say stop I, I know it's not gonna matter that i tell you to stop but like i said there's a different thing between creating content when you speculation or mega mega top 10 or anything that is real in contrast to spreading this fake picture as legitimate pokemon it only end up confusing people and it just hurts the brand of Pokemon. It really, really, really does because it takes away all the seriousness of the franchise and it takes actually care of all the seriousness from us pocket as a franchise too. I mean, we are, we are obviously, I'm obviously not that big. Um, let's just face that fact from the beginning. But I would destroy myself if I spread fake content and being that these guys in, in, consent are rewarded for the fake content just makes this all this worse because it makes sure that you don't need a seal of approval to be successful and that's that's a bad thing that means you can spread whatever you want and people just yeah you know what I, I won't even keep going with this this is my thoughts about this Pokemon leaks basically I don't like them I think it hurts the brand I think it hurts the future of the franchise when things actually hits off. Now, I might be over dramatic, and I get that, but it just bothers me a whole lot. Uh, if you guys have been wondering why I've been so hard on those pocket tubers, it's been for that reason alone. I think it's quite shameless, and I think it requires close to nothing to make a video about a fake leak. So, this has been the Skyrunner signing out, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.